the goal is to identify this person the capsular invasion because this is what for most of the students they find it's very difficult right this is a very old picture which is from who okay so here it's clearly say that if it's gone beyond its invasion right if it's pushing the capsule like this this is invasion right see if you have if you found this the c no one is ever going to worry about it at all right e no one is ever going to worry it's very simple h it's very simple most of the time what you see is you see this part it's like mushrooming so it's very difficult for me to differentiate i and a d in a real specimen right in a diagram it's very simple because i can 100 percent be sure that no capsule will be circle like this no tumor will be circular like this right that's the biggest dilemma how do i differentiate d versus c rest of them you will not have a concern and only few things you will not have a concern right so d versus c the mushrooming growth versus mushrooming and pushing the capsule outside is the most important thing which i want you to remember right so the goal here is there are few points to take away from this lecture which i want you to apply every time you see a follicular custom of thyroid right first always have an outline of the capsule that's very 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 important and you have to outline the capsule so i'll tell you what do i mean by outlining the capsule right so let's say i'm having a lesion like this an oval lesion right it, I, like i said it'll never be round but it's encapsulated right this is outlining the capsule this is how the capsule will be i cannot have the capsule going like this if the capsule is irregular like this by default it is invaded keep in mind okay I'll, maybe i'll have a quick look about the case when we see if it's irregular like this by default is invaded right the reason why i want to stress more on this and the reason this image has told yes for the option d here is it's simple whenever i have an invading front will it produce desmoplastic reaction it will will desmoplasia the fibrosis the collagen look same like the capsule it will right so in other words what's happening here is ideally it should have been like this right ideally here it should have been like this that makes normal right the daughter lens is the normal architecture of the capsule but why it bulges here is the reason is i'm having tumor growing here destroying the capsule and that has created a little bit of more desmoplasia which is merged with the surrounding capsule so it's looking like that same here i have tumor growing here destroying the capsule and is merged with the surrounding capsule i'll zoom this same here this is my capsule the tumor is growing through the capsule it's pushing beyond this border if it pushes beyond this border it's undoubtedly invasion so this green part actually is not the capsule per se it's not just pushed right it's not the capsule here the green part here is the new desmoplastic stroma which looks like the capsule right that's one takeaway please outline the capsule that's very very important for you to confidently say it's invasion right second point away for me is a clue whenever you have a thick capsule always suspect invasion because follicular adenoma capsule we have seen about follicular adenoma lesions multiple uh, lesions in, in the previous discussion follicular adenoma capsule will not be thick this can be very come very handy even if it's a frozen right it's a thick capsule and i say thick you can see the capsule in low power that is for me thick if you want to appreciate the capsule in 20x or 40x it's not thick right if you appreciate the capsule in 4x or 10x it's thick uh, that's my determination for thick so if you have a thick capsule i'll always suspect invasion right third and the most important thing let's say you have an adenoma like this fine okay and this capsule is not completed here this is an evidence of invasion okay whenever you see a path capsule is not completed the reason why i say this is an evidence of invasion is maybe it's a three-dimensional structure right maybe in the same area below it is invaded so if you have this i'm not saying to report as invasion take multiple sections this is very very important take multiple sections right next when i take a multiple section is i have an adenoma here but very close to it i have two three more lesions which is also looking like an adenoma when you have multiple lesions again take multiple section to see if these both are merging at some point there's a possibility right there's a possibility in two three sections down it might merge at some time that time also take multiple sections because same morphology just a few millimeter gap looking at separate adenoma very unlikely 
unless it's an inherited syndrome, right? So please take multiple sections to prove if there's an invasion or not, right? So these are the take home points, but this is something which is very, very important outlining the capsule. If you don't outline, you are going to make a mistake. I'll show you two cases. Both of them outlining is very, very important for us to diagnose, right? Let's look at the first case here. Let's see if it opens. Yeah, perfect. Like, like I said, low power. Can you appreciate the capsule here? You can? Perfect. Now, outlining is very important, right? So when I outline this, can I say this part is outside the line? That's all, it's invasion. It's a very thick capsule. See, this is the capsule. This would have joined like this, right? It should have joined like this, but now it's going here. That is the D1, right? If you look at the lecture, if you look at this image, the D looks like that. That's overbonding, right? It's not this. Here, it stays within the capsule's lining. So the within the outline, right? So let's go back to that. So here, uh, let's refresh it a second. Yeah, here, it's outside the line, right? Not just that. Here's a line, outside the line, right? And look at the thickness. I can see that capsule very thick, even the low power, right? Normal therapeutic with maybe Hashimoto's like lesion, right? Let's zoom in here. Let's zoom in here. Let's zoom in here undoubtedly gone through right so this is the outline of the capsule here that's what i said outlining is very important this is not mushrooming growth which is it's not pseudo invasive or non-invasive it is purely invasive right this is the outline of capsule here it should have joined like this but here it's pushed it and got an outside right that's a very classical invasion and this by default look this is a capsule right it's going beyond that don't say that this is within the capsule right this is very very important i cannot have a capsule this big i'm just going up uh, behind again don't say the lesion what we saw is like this it's not like this because if this is my capsule and if it's within that same thickness i would say yes in non-invasive right because this is no right let's go back to the same image let's refresh it once again see here this is my thickness of a normal capsule if i have a lesion here non-invasive but here I'm having it outside it and this might be the desmoplastic reaction right so don't consider them within the capsule and don't call them non-invasive this is invasive this is also invasive because it's gone beyond the limit of the capsule that's why i said outlining is very 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 important maybe this i might not call them as invasive because here thickness but still here it's more thick right still i'm doubtful but at least for benefit of bird out i might leave this or take a deeper but this guy is definitely invasion this guy is also definitely invasion right let's go to the higher power little bit of elongation but most of them are classical micro follicle you don't have good amount of um, pleomorphism mitosis or necros right so it's no high grade features micro follicle architecture having invasion i would call them a follicular carcinoma for sure right i'm not talking about angio invasion here we'll definitely look at angio invasion uh, in the we have discussed about that in the fepdc and please go and have a look at this this I might not call it invasion because it's within the thickness of the capsule, right? This might fit into the eye uh, thing in the diagram, right? This is not invasion. But this guy is definitely outside the capsule. This guy is definitely invasive, right? Let's see. It's definitely the tumor. It's definitely invasion, right? There's the first case. I'll show you one more case where I've given you how to outline the capsule. See, this is how I outline the capsule, right? A capsule will always be like this. It will be a smooth curve. But a capsule cannot come here and a little bit become bigger here little bit become bigger here little bit become bigger more here and then come back like this it cannot be like a cloud a capsule cannot be like a cloud so this is outlining of a capsule right more or less right so i can easily say this part is outside the outline this part is outside the outline so i would call it a invasion right this is macro micro follicular lesion but this truly is beyond the outline of the capsule that's how you outline a capsule and that's how i can call it a follicular carcinoma right i hope there's no more doubt because invasion is a topic which is keep on you will definitely discuss in every slide conference next slide conference you'll forget it right share this video to someone who wants to know what is capsular invasion and let's learn capsular invasion like that right see you soon in the next video till then bye bye